Hey guys, this is all stream that back with another episode of Hunting Simulator. And last time we finished out the Midwest Subalpine area, and let's go ahead and continue with the Chihuahuan Desert. And the first one we have is called Stubborn as a Mule, and it looks like this one starts at 1 in the morning and ends at 9 in the morning, and we want one mule deer. So the primary weapon is, of course, a 270 bolt action. The secondary weapon is a 22 semi-automatic. And we are not going to use that anymore. We are going to replace the uh, wind powder with a moose collar. And we are, of course, keeping our flashlight. So let's get into the hunt. Okay, so for this we need uh, one mule deer. You're going to have to be careful in this area. There's quite some verti verticality, meaning that mule deer can be hidden by rocks and ridges. You can stick with the normal flat paths or you can try the more off-road paths. You'll need to use whatever cover you can find. Cover in this region is sparse. It's you in the open desert from here on out. No thick foliage to cover you. Try getting to higher ground, at least it'll make the mule deer harder to see you. Okay, and this is a night hunt, so let's turn our flashlight on. And we need one mule deer. Really? Don't think there's anything out there. Oh, coyote. That's what it was. Two hours to the east. One hour to the southeast. Okay. That coyote is loud. go one hour directly east where are we okay and it's a mule deer so
they're right over there. Oh, we got options. Go. Yep. Okay, we just need the one. Okay. No vitals hit. We got 129 points. All right, let's continue with the Chihuahuan Desert. And the next one is called What a Pheasant Surprise. We need three pheasants. This one goes from 7.30 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. And because we have small game, the 22 semi-automatic will be our primary, the 270 bolt action will be our secondary, and we always keep our flashlight. This could be your hardest hunt yet. Claiming pheasants is hard enough as it is, but when they're blending in with the ground shrubs and roaming around in the higher ground, then it becomes a completely different ball game. If you're tracking a pheasant and it leads to a part with shrubs, It'll be best to walk slowly and use your binoculars. Any movement in the bushes will be a pheasant. However, if you're tracking a pheasant and it leads uphill, the best advice would be ready would be to ready yourself to take the shot. There could be a pheasant just over any rock, and if you give it a reason to flee, it will do exactly that. If it flies off, take it down, but remember, be quick about it. We need three pheasants. This is going to be tough. Okay, looked like there was something over there, but there was not. Let's take a quick look around. See if we can find any... Any tracks, and we have nothing. Might be something down there that we can't see. There is nothing. Uh, we're actually like almost right on top of one. Okay. There's a mule deer. There's two of them.
Okay, uh, if we go to the southeast. We might be able to find something down that way. Okay, southeast is where we're going. Oh. Now they want a mule deer. Okay, let's see if we can find these guys again. So this game seems to like doing this. Uh, they seem to like making a uh, making a mission after you've already left where something is. And we can actually. a deer collar. I think they were right over here. Okay. There's a rabbit. There, look at that. That time I let him. He's down.
Okay, so let's collect our mule deer and then we can get back to uh, tracking the pheasants again. It's a long way. Got him in the stomach, lost a hundred for that, uh, but a total of two forty eight. Okay, let's uh, switch back to our twenty two. Okay, let's place the marker there. And let's get back to our pheasants. Okay, we shouldn't be too far off now. Alright. One. Two. Ah. Okay, well, we got two anyway. One got eight oh nine for him. Uh, this is another one right over here. No, where was the other? Like right on top of him, pretty much. There he is. Okay, got him in the lungs. Total of 342. We need one more pheasant. What are you? Mule deer, okay. Ah, uh, I need to reload. Ooh. That was a good shot. So we got our third pheasant. Okay, we're running out of energy here. Let's 
set him. This is definitely the right area. Okay, so he is Okay, let's do this. Right in the middle, place the marker. There he is. Okay. No vital sit, we got a total of 191 for him. So we got three pheasants and a mule deer. And we can now use a pheasant collar. Okay, and this next one is called Gunslinger. We need three pronghorn antelopes. It looks like this one is from 3 in the afternoon to 11 at night. So we want to switch those and make our 270 bolt the primary, make our 22 semi-automatic the secondary, and we don't want to do a pheasant call, uh, we're going to keep our flashlight, and let's get into the hunt. The pronghorn antelope, light brown in color, is also incredibly fast. You'll have to be at the top of your game today if you want to bag three of them. This part of the Chihuahuan Desert isn't the flattest. You're going to encounter a few steep hills, rocks, and ridges during your hunt here. Not to mention the number of cacti and Joshua trees that populate this area. And they're only going to prove as a persistent hindrance. Constantly blocking your view. Speaking of persistence, however, you're going to need it. Claiming one pronghorn is tough, but three is even tougher. Assess your options before pulling the trigger. Make sure the shot is worth it. Let's go. We already have a track right here. Three hours directly south. One hour to the southeast. Okay, we are going to use the stand. Okay, and we... Cannot see anything. Ooh. Yep, walk right into that. Got one. Anybody else?
Okay, so our kill was right there. So those were two pretty good shots. He walked right into the first one. There we go, and this is our first pronghorn. That's a female, so there are no horns. Heart, stomach, and lungs for 750. A total of 916. And let's go ahead and remove the marker. Okay, we are pretty much right in the middle. Now we're in the middle, okay. So a lot of times they will come back. And there's another watchtower over there. Okay. So we are looking for two more pronghorns. Oh, and a red fox. Okay, we've got time, so... We don't need to be stationary. Okay, that's a coyote. So let's see if there's anything other than the coyote here. Oh my god, did I really? Oh my gosh. Okay, um, let's mark that and let's go get him. That was just a really good shot. Oh, there he is. Got him in the lungs for a total of 374. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back. I can't believe I hit that.
Okay, what are you? Pronghorn, two hours to the south. Why not? Oh my gosh. Seriously, this is just dumb luck. Okay, let's go ahead and reload. Okay, and I think this one was a male. It was. There is a male pronghorn. You can see why they call it a pronghorn. Got him in the brain for 400. A uh, total of 657. Okay. Let's uh, remove that marker. Mule deer. Mule deer. I don't need mule deer, I need a pronghorn. Okay, oh, I did see something move. It's a mule deer. So because I need a pronghorn, I'm only gonna be finding mule deer. Okay. So let's run over here. don't see me I could easily take him out He's got no idea that I'm here. Okay. One more mule deer to f or one more uh, 
pronghorn to find. Four hours ago, southwest, probably one of the ones I have already killed. Three hours southwest. Three hours directly south. Okay, <clears throat> so they are up there. Time, okay, we've got plenty of time. Got him. Yep. Got him with one shot. So let's go ahead and collect him and then this hunt will be over. Eight hundred and fifty right in the lungs and the heart and uh total of 997 so we got our three pronghorn antelopes we got the one red fox that they wanted and that's a total of 2670 points and we can now go to the coastal rainforest and that is going to end our episode for today my name is all stream that hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications